Matt Hancock, possibly the most dishonest, incompetent, morally bankrupt, self-serving politician of our times. And let's face it, he's got some strong competition for that title. The wife-cheating, economy-decimating, life-ruining cretin was unfortunately summoned to appear before the Covid inquiry this week, despite the fact that the entire country at this point would prefer not to hear a single word to come out of his lying mouth or see his smug, punchable face ever again for as long as we all live and breathe. I mean, having been summoned to appear before the inquiry, he could have at least had the common decency to admit that the lockdowns were a cataclysmic error, apologise profusely and beg for forgiveness. Instead, he doubled down on his obscene arrogance and idiocy by declaring that in the face of future pandemics, Britain must have wider, earlier and more stringent lockdowns. Truly an insane lack of self-awareness from a man who's lost all grip on reality, if he ever had one in the first place. It's patently clear now that lockdowns did considerably more harm than good. The untreated cancer patients, an educationally and psychologically damaged generation of children, countless numbers of businesses decimated, people dying and buried without their families, a nation now brutally impoverished by Covid handouts from a government who refused to let them work, a lockdown strategy based not on science but guesswork from a government of out of control narcissists who treated people's civil liberties with utter contempt and played God with people's lives. We will of course never get an apology or an honest statement from this despicable clown, but if he thinks the British people will accept a lockdown in the face of a pandemic ever again, then he's gravely mistaken, isn't he? The people of this country were fooled once, and shame on the government of crooks and shills that did it to us. We won't be fooled again. They try to lock us down again, they'll be ignored. They engage the police and the armed forces to make us comply. They'll trigger mass scale civil unrest. It's an appalling indictment on this country that Hancock is still a serving member of parliament when he should be rotting in prison.